In this quick tutorial, I'll show you how to identify conic sections that are given in polar form. The question reads, the equation represents a conic section in polar form. Identify the conic section, the position of the directrix, and the distance between the focus and the directrix. Now remember, a conic section could be a parabola, ellipse, or hyperbola. And for each of these three types that are in polar form, the directrix lies in one of four positions. What we have to do is analyze this equation so that we can determine all of this information. And for each of those three conic sections that I mentioned, the directrix lies in one of four positions. And these are the four cases outlined here. Either it's parallel or perpendicular to the polar axis, and the directrix is located p units away from the polar axis. If we were to match our equation with one of these, notice that this is minus, and we have cosine theta we could match it with case three. And in case three, the directrix is perpendicular to the polar axis, located p units left of the pole. So if we had a polar plane that looked like this, the directrix would be somewhere here, and it would be located three units left of the pole. Also, if we try to match our equation with this one, this coefficient e, in our case, is equal to one. So we have e is equal to one, therefore we are dealing with a parabola. And that's outlined right here, where if it is equal to one, we have a parabola. Looking back at the standard form, we have e p at the top, and that's represented by two. So we have two is equal to e p. Replacing e with one, we have two is equal to one times p, therefore p is equal to two. This means that our directrix is two units to the left of the polar axis. Okay, let's check off what we've done so far. We've identified the type, it is a parabola. The position of the directrix, it is two units to the left of the polar axis. And the distance between the focus and the directrix is next. Because the focus lies directly on the polar axis, this means that P also represents the distance between the focus and the directrix. Therefore, to answer this part, it is equal to two. A graph of the equation is now shown on your screen. 